Doc Rampageo, DKTV, back again, still with Mike Zolatoro. Now we're talking about Realm of the Underworld, Wave 3. Mike? Okay, so Realm of the Underworld, Wave 3. Um, the backer card art um, is done by the legendary Neil Adams, as you can see. Now, uh, again, this is a large mock-up of the card. Um, you know, a lot of these uh, um, these elements are actually out of it. A lot of the text is going to be... It's gonna, you're going to see a lot of artwork on this card here. There's going to be a mini-comic that's going to come with these. It's done by uh, Chris Campana. And the cover uh, of the variant is also going to be Neil Adams' cover uh, to the actual comic book. But uh, Chris nailed it when he did... You know, we, we you know, give him a synopsis of the story, and he tells it in his art form. It's, like, really cool. Chris is really good. Yeah, I like Chris. Um, Everybody likes Chris. We're also going to get a little bit of uh, T.Y.'s comic in there, too, aren't we? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, that's going to be cool, too. It's uh, um, it, That's going to be cool because each... And there's... They're going to be, uh, before I jump into this real quick, there's going to be two different mini comics, okay? So you're going to get part one to uh, uh, A Hero Returns and part two to A Hero Returns. And that's Returns. going to be the assortments, right? Yes, and that's going to be in the assortments. It's also going to be, um, uh, it, well, it's going to go throughout all the figures. So yep. it's going to kind of like be those two comics. So you're going to get an eye. Uh, uh, you're going to get bombarded by that, so that's definitely cool. <laughs> but it's going to be easy for people to get both issues without Absolutely. having any kind of worry about it. Absolutely. It isn't like anything exclu like is going to be exclusive or nothing like no. that. You know, um, We might, uh, I don't know, we may throw something into the thing, like uh, we're kind of working our way around that. What I mean by something is like uh, if we end up doing a uh, type of an exclusive card or something that will be in the packaging. I don't know yet. We're, we're, yeah. we're going to see. I don't know if we're going to, but there's a possibility of anything at this point. Um, but yes, this card looks great. This is the card. Um, in the back of this card is going to actually show all Realm of the Underworld um, in this. So you have, and that, yep, that's the miniature mock for that as well, so you can see it. Um, Neil uh, uh, nailed that card. I mean, anybody that knows who Neil Adams is, he's the legendary artist that uh, worked with uh, DC to do Batman. Fun fact, actually, um, Neil Adams is my favorite Batman artist. Oh, yep. that's great. Um, Frank Miller is my favorite Batman writer, but I, Adams' is Batman is the Batman I like, dude. Blue and gray, Adams all that stuff. Adams fantastic. killed it. He killed it on this card. Just amazing. So, yeah, and, and uh, uh, great people uh, to work with. I, I had a lot of fun, um, you know, as far as the design work for that because when I explaining the card was actually funny. And he's a, anybody that knows him, he articulates really funny because of this. Uh, he's very colorful in his language. So it's, it's really neat when you're, you know, working with him and he asks these specific questions and you're just like, wow, did he just ask that? But he's, he is awesome. And I, I, Neil is, you know, uh, very professional and a lot of fun to work with. Another, another uh, neat thing about this, uh, this particular series too, like I was saying, was, um, you know, we're actually going to have, um, well, there's a few more teasers that we're actually going to show here, I guess, as part of uh, Realm of the Underworld Wave 3 that you can see in the background of the display Skeleton case. Skeleton warriors there. Yeah, uh, you can see in the background of the display case over here, okay, um, this character here, as you can see, uh, is, you know, uh, Crisis on Nice Dragon that you're looking at here. This is something that we actually want to do as part of the series later on. We're already working on the horse and rider that you've seen for uh, for the um, uh, Wave 3. It's going to be in between Wave 3 and Wave 4 is we're actually doing the uh, the uh, Wraith and the Grim the Executioner and the Wraithbringer. Uh, and we're going to do the Wraith and the Wraithbringer, which you can see here. That's the Wraith in there with the glow in the dark bones and smoke. So... Uh, we want to do um, this, and he'll probably come with a couple minions in a pack. So you may get like two, there might be two figures, and then a horse that you'll get with that one. And then the other, uh, uh, with the uh, Grim the Executioner, you're going to get a, um, you know, you obviously get the, the variant of Grim the Executioner with the bent legs. And also, uh, I, we're probably going to throw a variant head in there as well. So you're going to get all that as part of, um, you know, that what I would consider 3.5 assortment, which would be horse and riders. But along with that, um, it's also going to be a good horse pack. So you'll get like Ulysses with varying colors. So you see him here with the black in the back uh, uh, here. He, we're going to actually have him in white with the horse and the rider packs. So you're going to get that. You're going to get a variant of Hercules. You're going to get a variant of uh, uh, Crisis because we're trying to keep the core characters consistent. And in any series, when you're doing a series, um, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, you're constantly coming out with the same characters again, but the core characters to me are very important because if you miss them, 
then, you know, I, I've, you know, with the slime drones, a lot of people miss the figures and they're writing me saying, oh, you just didn't, you didn't make enough of them or you didn't do this. or So I want to make it in such a way where you're always able to get the core characters in one form or another. And having that ability, um, to me, uh, uh, kind of broadens the series a little bit more, too, so more people can get behind it. Well, even though these are technically 5.75 figures, I think the variants are so rooted in the five, whole 5.5 5 vibe, too, you know? like True. There's, there, in the history, there was, it was all variants, you know? It wasn't like you didn't have 30 different sculpts. Right. You had, like, six different sculpts, you know? Um, so I think that's definitely something that's worth noting. I think another thing, too, uh, Realm of the Underworld and the Zoloverse is, it, I mean, I think we're approaching over 30-something heads now, like, for the series. And all those variations of heads, I mean, vinyl roto heads are, you know, uh, th this is, you know, the thing that made the staple of the 80s action figure. So we wanted to basically uh, make more of that style and, uh, you know, come out with, you know, you just just having like different paint apps and different you know uh, uh, character designs and stuff like that to go around with them, and having what is it now one two three different like core body styles too you mm -hmm. know and then uh, variant waists different you know different legs different arms yeah and then uh, yeah and there's a lot of you know different crotch pieces so it just goes beyond the the standard you know oh well just changing up colors and just doing whatever it's yeah. not about that at all it's about a nostalgic nod which we started back in 2012 yeah and that was the thing that we wanted to do or actually I should say back in 2009 when I actually started designing a series to basically do this and moving forward with it uh, I think that the big the big objective that you know was to bring back this nostalgia that people weren't having and i think that you know we've been doing a pretty good job with it and that's cool. i think you've been doing an excellent job with it i think Thank the you. whole series is getting just phenomenal i'm really excited to see like some new people coming in like ben's figure is very exciting to me very exciting um yeah. i just it's so cool to see this whole thing grow and you know that was what you and i said to each other from the get-go talking right. about ever doing this is growing the line and growing the style and everything but also bringing people that let's just say you know like i know ben has a, a production vinyl figure now you know what i mean so it's cool that you know to see that which i did an unboxing of on here on dk tv well there you go but uh the uh the thing with that too is it's cool but he didn't necessarily need to have that to, to join the zolaverse i mean if you have an idea and you want to you know run with it you know and do something you know we we have these agreements like you know you know that we do and, uh, you know, we're trying to make dreams basically come true of people that want to do action figures. Now, it does take money. I'm not, you know, I'm yeah. not saying this is a free process. You know, it's something that, you know, we license out of body style that we have. Because obviously we put lots of money behind our series. And, uh, and when I mean lots, I'm talking lots of money. So there isn't a question to, uh, you know, you know uh, as far as, you know, is it going to sell or what, what type of, you know, item that you're putting out. It's going to sell, uh, you know, once, if we approve it, we want to go ahead and do it. We don't want to have, like, some, um, you know, some lewd figure out there, you know what I mean? Like, with, with the, uh, the Zoloverse uh, thing on it, it wouldn't... But, yeah, so uh, what's the expected time for uh, Row 2 Wave 3 is? It's the same as the Warrior Beast. Same as the yeah, Warrior it's Beast. Gonna be, they're going to be back-to-back -back with the Warrior Beast. Now, is the Row 2 Wave 3 going to be assortments as well, as well? Yes, there's going to be two assortments initially, and what we're going to do, and what we're working towards, and, and I know that, you know, the, the pre-order, and these are pre-order assortments, and I understand that, like, people may say that, you know, uh, and one of the questions I would actually ask is why is, you know, why is he doing a pre-order when he just did day of sale figures? And the idea is that uh, these figures are, was in our warehouse. You know, when we received the first uh, a bunch of figures, you know, for, for the slime drones, they're here. These figures are not. We want to give the opportunity for you to get these figures while they're in manufacturing. Like, you're not paying for the manufacturing process. The manufacturing process has been paid for by Zola World. We, we do that when we're doing these... Uh, you know these um you know these manufacturing runs whether it be our cases whether it be our action figures we're doing this within the run and this is something that we started i think you know since inception of the company in 2008 when we did this is we you know we brought it uh, together you know this this particular thing and we understand that like you know a lot of people like jumping into something when it's brand new and we're giving you that opportunity to grow with us so you know uh, and I'm not a guy to look at aftermarket prices and stuff like that, but if you go to eBay or if you go to some of these different places and look up um, 
uh, realm of the underworld just right now. Some of these figures are going for lots of money, so get in on the ground floor, get in at the very beginning of the line, and pick them up. And I think that's what you know we're we're trying to achieve here. Very good. So there you have it, uh, realm of the underworld wave three coming soon. Absolutely. Yep. DK TV, Mike Zolatoro, Solarworld.com. Uh, if you get a chance. Check out uh, underworldfigures.com uh, for the entire series of uh, Realm of the Underworld. And uh, check us out also on Facebook, Realm of the Underworld, um, where we share a lot of the information that we're, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the new information uh, that, that comes out. So There's also sure a really good uh, group to share your pictures and uh, whatever, talk about the figures as well, where it's you're on all the time, oh, I'm on all the time. You know, if you have any questions, leave them, they'll get answered. Yeah, the Realm of the Underworld fan page. I mean, you could always go into that. Uh, also, too, you'll see some stuff on our Instagram. It's at ZolaWorld1. you get a chance to see a lot of the new stuff. Uh, because we can't do a video on everything, obviously. But what, what comes out is uh, when, we, when we can and the newest stuff that we have, like I might get like something's directly from the factory back. And you guys are going to be the first people to see it. And that's, that's what we want to do. So that'd be fun. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. DKTV, we'll catch you next time. You